In recent years, Avatar has revealed many gay, lesbian, and bisexual characters in the Avatar fandom. There are actually 9 gay characters to be exact, and in this video, I'm going to go through and explain each one. Before we start though, I want to keep this comment section hate free. In previous videos I've made that were similar to this one, I've gotten some pretty nasty comments. So let's try to ensure that doesn't happen this time around. Now that I've said that, let's get the video started. Before we get into the characters, let's start with how being gay fit into the history of the Avatar world. Air nomads were probably the most accepting of same-sex relationships. They didn't hide who they loved, and everyone embraced everyone no matter their orientation. The Earth Kingdom was by far the slowest of the four nations to accept same-sex relationships, mainly because they didn't like change and they were more militaristically repressive. As for the Water Nation, their view on same-sex relationships is not as harsh as the Earth Kingdom, but it's definitely stricter than the Air Nomads. If you came out, you wouldn't be disowned, but their culture preferred families to keep their personal matters and views to themselves. This could also be quite toxic though, because as Korra's father Tanrak said, these customs could oftentimes be emotionally stifling. Now as for the Fire Nation, this one is a bit more complicated. For most of its history, they were tolerant of same-sex relationships, but when Fire Lord Sozin began his rule, the same Fire Lord who wiped out all of the airbenders, he decreed that same-sex relationships were criminal, and he arrested anyone who went against this. Once Sozin and the Fire Nation began to take over more land, specifically from the Earth Kingdom, this made the already hesitant Earth Kingdom fully ban same-sex relationships as well. Because of this, those that were gay were forced into silence all around the world, as the air nomads who supported them were gone, the Fire Nation and Earth Kingdom banned it, and the Water Nation told them to keep quiet about it. It's quite sad, actually. Now that we know the history of this topic in the world of Avatar, let's move on to the 9 gay characters in the series. Kaya Kaya was Katara and Aang's daughter, and she was attracted to women. She once said that when she went on her first getaway with a girl, she had never been so happy. Kaya embraced the Water Nation cultures, opting to be like her mother Katara, who was from the Southern Water Tribe. Because of this, she kept her sexual orientation very private, going along with the Water Nation's traditions of not being open about it. Kaya only told her friends and family, all of whom were very accepting, especially her father Aang. Because Aang grew up in the air temples where men and women could love whoever they wanted, he embraced Kaya's sexual orientation more than she could have ever asked for. Aiwei Aiwei appeared in Book 3 of The Legend of Korra. He started off as good, but we eventually realized he betrayed the heroes. There isn't much known about his sexuality, but we do know he's gay. When asked in an interview if there were more gay characters in the series, the creators of the show said they wrote Aiwei as gay after putting a lot of thought into his character. Minxia Minxia grew up on Kyoshi Island and trained to be a Kyoshi warrior with Suki. However, she wanted to do more for the world and not just the island, so she left. On her journey traveling the world, she met a lot of friends and discovered a lot about herself, including her sexual orientation. Realizing she was a lesbian, one of her friends soon became her girlfriend. Which brings me to the next gay character in the series. Meilin Meilin met Minxia on her travels, and the two soon became romantically involved. Meilin was one of the biggest factors that made Minxia realize she was gay, and they lived a very exciting life together traveling around the world. I always love the moment where we see Minxia introduce Meilin to Suki, because she's just so excited and proud to do it, and so comfortable with who she is. Zenko Zenko was part of a short story canon to the Avatar timeline. After Katara saved their village, Zenko invited Team Avatar to his house where we met Zenko's husband. I guess that's technically another gay character, so there are 10 in the series, not 9. But we never find out his husband's name, so I'm gonna stick to the 9 characters whose name we know. But anyway, they lived a humble and wonderful life, and the two raised an amazing daughter named Chio. Korra Korra is probably the biggest character on this list. She has been revealed to be bisexual. She dated Mako throughout the early seasons, but at the end of the show, we saw her get together with Asami. The creators of the show were actually held back by Nickelodeon, who did not allow them to come out and say she was gay or even let them kiss. So instead, the creators had the last shot of the show see Korra and Asami holding hands, and as they did, they went on a date into the spirit world together. This left many people wondering, and shortly after the series finale aired, the creators confirmed that Korra was in fact bisexual. Korra struggled a bit when coming out to her parents. Though they were both very happy to see her happy, Korra's father Tanrak later said she should keep her personal life private. 
This upset Korra, who called him narrow-minded, and she stormed out. Tanrock later apologized for this, though, and he said she has his full support to do whatever she wanted, even if it meant telling the world she was gay. Asami Asami is another bisexual character in the Avatar canon. Like Korra, she too dated Mako earlier in the series, and as I said, she ended up with Korra at the end of the series. This has led to a lot of jokes and memes to do with Mako, but at the end of the day, I think he was happy for both of them. After the series ended, many fans wanted to see more of Korra and Asami, and the creators listened and gave the fans just that. We saw their date in the spirit world where the show left off, we saw their first kiss, we saw them together while just living their daily lives, and we even saw them say I love you to one another. Kiyoshi In an interview, the creators of the show said that in the back of their minds, Kiyoshi was always bisexual, and they finally decided to make this canon in the Korra comics. While that was where it was introduced, we've seen most of her bisexuality in the Kiyoshi novels. She has a girlfriend named Rangi, but we also saw her share some romantic moments with a boy named Yoon. Being from the Earth Kingdom, the nation least tolerant of same-sex relationships, many would think she would hide her sexual orientation, but it was actually quite the opposite. She was very outspoken about her bisexuality, and she attempted to affect greater tolerance for those that were gay in the world. Unfortunately though, these efforts had little to no impact. And finally, we have Rangi. As I said, Rangi was Kiyoshi's girlfriend in the Kiyoshi novels. The two have a strong bond, and they both cared for each other a great deal. As I said, Kiyoshi also shared some romantic moments with Yoon, who ultimately went on to stab Rangi. It did not take long to see who Kiyoshi cared for more though, as she killed Yoon moments later. Their story is not yet finished, as there are still more novels to be written in the series, but we left the two as a strong couple ready to take on the world together. And there you have it, 9 gay characters in the Avatar series. Thank you so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. You can follow me on Instagram to see more of my personal life like my cute dog Loki and some behind the scenes movie flame stuff. I also do similar content on TikTok and Twitter that I do here on this channel, so if you like what I do here, check them out. All the handles are right below me and links are in the description. Over here are my wonderful patrons. If you want to be featured on the next video plus get a few other perks, become a patron today. As always, if you liked the video, hit that like button and subscribe and look out for more great movie flame videos on the way.